divorce lawyers of Reddit, what's the most outrageous reason someone filed for divorce? My 90 year old client, the husband, and his son retained me to initiate divorce proceedings with his 88 year old wife. They'd been married 60 years. The wife had recently taken to beating him with his own cane, because their daughter poisoned her into thinking he was hiding money from them. The battle came down to husband and son versus wife and daughter. At their first court appearance, my client showed up in an old 1950s style pinstripe suit and fedora. He was a farmer his whole life, and this was clearly the only suit he owned. He was such a meek and lovely old gentleman. I had to pass my client on to a new lawyer midway through the proceedings because I accepted a job in a different country, but I understand the divorce was eventually granted. I'm an intern but the judge I work for used to do divorce work. He has some crazy stories but this one is probably the most outrageous, though the divorce was pretty justified. Every morning this couple would sit in the bathroom together while one of them had their morning dump. One would sit on the toilet and the other on the rim of the bathtub. This particular morning the wife was on the toilet and husband on the edge of the tub. They started to argue about their relationship so the wife reaches down, pulls her tampon out and flings it at husband. I'm told the tampon stuck for a brief second to his forehead before sliding off. He filed for divorce that same day or the next. I was a legal assistant when this case came in, but this lady divorced her husband of two months because he got her an iPad case for her birthday instead of the expensive jewelry she wanted. My grandfather's brother was a judge who presided over state issue marriages from time to time, one couple he married returned six months later to confirm the wedding and end their trial marriage, when he thusly informed them that there was no such thing and that they had been married for six months they subsequently broke up. I knew a guy from a high school job who divorced his wife of two months because she would sleep with a night's light but he could only sleep in total darkness, as they apparently never lived together until after getting married. He hated her night's light so much that he would often sleep on the couch instead, but sometimes he would claim the bed for himself and lock her out of the bedroom for the night. This was an eccentric late 40s man working at a Burger King who acted like all the other high school co-workers were his best chums, and often told us these weird stories. I'm glad I don't work with him anymore. My douche cousin told his wife she had three chances to give him a son. Daughter was born first. Strike one. Son was born second. Then they find out the boy can't eat gluten. So my cousin divorced her and has made zero effort to see his kids. Edit, I remembered something else he did. He would take off work and instead of spending time with the babies or her he'd tell her just act like him at work and do all your normal stuff. Then he'd watch TV all day. Douche. My client put his wife in an assisted living facility based on a misdiagnosis, the medication of which caused the wife to be unable to care for herself. While in the facility, my client Shocker started dating another woman and methinks began using hard drugs. He used a loot of money on both of these things. She eventually got off the medication and got better. Suffice to say, she was not happy about what had transpired. Harley. A couple got divorced over a cat. Wife called cat Snowball because of white fur and only wanted the cat to eat wet food or chicken breast. Husband called cat Lily again because of white fur and believed it should only eat dry food. These two argued for a year over custody of the cat but did not give a shit about their human kids aged 15 months, 4 years, and 6 years old. I worked as a paralegal for a divorce lawyer. Case analysis was one of my main responsibilities. I shit you not. A recently married couple, of 2 years, broke it off because the husband would not stop feeding the dog. The dog got outrageously fat. Apparently she saw connection between the dog and future children. My client was the outrageous one, so my heart went out to his poor wife. He had OCD which manifested primarily financially, so he made their lives a penny-pinching hell. Examples, he was obsessed with avoiding unnecessary driving, wear and tear on the car, gas expenses, so he cut the whole family's hair at home and never let them eat at a restaurant or go to the movies. Weirdest of all. He kept one toilet paper roll on him at all times and you had to get one square from him before you could go to the bathroom. He never gave more than one square. Wife finally got fed up and left him when one, 
He gave her bangs during an in-home haircut and two. Their daughter was so traumatized by the toilet paper thing they couldn't potty train her. Also, he hated paying his divorce lawyer bill. He was also an old-fashioned mega-Catholic who considered divorce a deadly sin. He viewed my whole job as an unnecessary and sinful expense. Not me, but a friend my mum has divorced her husband because his mother still coddled him at age 40, with his consent. They lived with his mother, common in Asia. By coddle I mean that she would walk straight into their room after his shower and powder his back for him. They couldn't lock their bedroom door because his mother would come in as and when she wanted. If they locked the door, she would knock repeatedly asking what they were doing. Lol what would they be possibly doing? Playing poker? I represented a porn actress, webcam model who filed for divorce from her husband who also did the porn, webcam model business. He would do gay porn on the side because the pay was better. She was hesitant about it, but dealt with it because the pay was decent. Both sides had an agreement that it wasn't cheating as long as it was for work. One day she came home early and found her husband in bed with two men. They were not filming. That was too much for her. Needless to say, the old conservative judge couldn't wrap his head around this one. My aunt had a case where the wife had glued all of the outdoor hoses together so he wouldn't spend more time washing his vehicle anymore. When the glue didn't work she just cut them all up. When he bought new ones I filed for divorce. Worked in matrimonial law for a year and a half before I had to leave BC it just overwhelmed me with how awful humanity is. I'll never forget filing papers that described her soon-to-be ex-husband's behavior, including, masturbates on the living room couch without closing the door and leaves sticky tissues everywhere with further description of their three young children potentially walking in on him. He got drunk at the wedding, she did not like it, and decided to divorce him right after the honeymoon, which she went to without him. Moreover, this was all an elaborate scheme of divorce robbery, because the guy was loaded, and so was his entire family. They were loaded because they were a family of excellent lawyers, and he was a third generation lawyer, with all the smarts and experience of his predecessors combined. Let's just say it did not go well for her. Knew a couple a little over a decade ago who I was close friends with. The wife wanted children and after several months of trying plus a doctor visit later he was found to be infertile, unable to have children due to his sperm. She filed for divorce several weeks later. Then one random hookup later she got pregnant from a one night stand while the proceedings were still going. He used that in the court battle which assisted with him taking the majority of their possessions post split due to her actions. Smelly feet, though there's no divorce in my country only annulment. My client can't stand the smell of his wife's feet. Lucky for him because incompatibility clause includes smelly feet. I was smelling the whole process and the judge laughed examining the evidence of his wife having a smelly feet he forgot he was a judge. It's not a ridiculous reason, it's a ridiculous scenario. Happens to a friend. Girlfriend wanted a cat even though it was against rules in that building. My friend caved and they got one. Then she brought another one home without asking what he thought about it. Didn't get that one fixed, it had two different litters. When it was all said and done they had 12 cats in a two bedroom house and she didn't think it was a problem even though it drove him out of his mind. I knew two families who moved into our neighborhood seven-ish years ago. They had been family friends for years, so decided to move into the same area together. Both families had two kids, very nuclear families. Come to find out, the dad of family 1 and mom of family 2 had been having an affair for years. They got caught, so divorce ensued for both families. Dad 1 and mom 2 got married and moved away. However, in the aftermath dad 2 and mom 1 started seeing each other and now they're married. Happened all over the course of like 6 months too. Client's husband was divorcing her because she had transitioned from a woman to a man then back to a woman again after regretting the first transition. The husband realized he preferred men and couldn't cope with the second transition back to a woman. Two great people who just couldn't make it work together I have to add. My aunt was dating an unemployed dude for a while. He was staying in her house rent free. They got married and were getting ready to go on the honeymoon when the new husband tells her he's not going because he has to take care of his plants at the house. Big fight. 
aunt goes on the honeymoon with her sisters instead. She comes home and tries to kick him out of her house, he refuses to leave. She tries to get the police involved. Dude is live streaming on Facebook how he is being trapped in his own home. Police tell my aunt there is basically nothing they can do, can file for eviction after a divorce. Dude gets to live in her house with his precious plants for like 3 months until everything legally gets worked out. Divorced guy here. I divorced my ex-wife because she decided to be a super Christian that spent hours each day lying on the floor speaking in tongues. Also she would have random conversations with former deceased relatives while doing mundane daily activities. The final straw was when I came home from work and my two years old daughter was in the fireplace eating ashes two feet away from her while she laid on the ground chanting and speaking in her made up language. My cousin and her husband almost divorced because they had never even slept beside each other, fringe evangelicals, non-American type though, and he tossed and turned and grunted constantly while snoring. She ended up crying for weeks while sleeping on the couch. They're somehow having a baby to fix their problem. My uncle almost divorced his wife on his wedding night because she refused to fuck him on the grounds she actually never wanted kids and tricked him for his money. Still together. She had a bratty awful daughter already. The wife turned out to be a pedophile, towards my brother and I, and I can see why she refused more kids, she wanted to prey on us and my cousins, 